Well, I'm not going to tell you guys how to barbecue. I mean, it's pretty standard stuff. Everyone's got their own techniques and their thing. I'm just going to say that you should know your barbecue. And for me, I time everything, right? So I know exactly that that four and a half minutes is going to give me a medium on each side here on this with the size of those sticks, steaks. Um, three minutes and, and we're going to have good medium rare in there. That's what we what we want. Um, this is uh, this is what we do. But maybe I'm going to show you just a, one little tip. I don't know. Some of you may already do it, but I'll show it later on. So this this is gonna be this is gonna be great. One of the things that I do is bring the steaks into up to room temperature, um, season them. Now I'm using a keg spice, um, but if you salt and pepper them, uh, we let them sit in the salt and pepper for for at least four hours, and um, put them in the fridge in a baggie if you want. But before barbecuing them, I always bring them up to about room temperature. Give them an hour just just to kind of kind of come back up. Um, stick them on, but oh, look at those puppies, they're almost done. Okay, so one of the things that I like to do is I like to render some of that fat off, and plus, we like nice, crisp that, that fatty side of the, of the strip loin. We like to uh, like it crispy, so uh, this is uh, just gonna sizzle it up here a little bit on that side. This is gonna be great. I hear people say. You know, salting your steaks uh, causes the steaks to be tough. And I completely disagree. I mean, for me, if you salt it four hours before, then you'll you'll notice. And people will say it makes it tough and dries them out. But if you salt them four hours before, you'll notice that the steaks, the blood and the moisture comes to the surface. It takes on that salt and that brininess, and then it absorbs it back into the meat. So if you leave it long enough, you'll actually see the moisture come to the surface and then go back in. And when you cut that steak, it is absolutely beautiful because that brine and the pepper or whatever spice you've got gets absorbed into the muscle of the meat. And it is really, 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 really good. So um, you know what? Try it. If you've never tried steaks like that, then you need to do it like that. Steaks are done. We're ready to go. Trust me, you have to do this. Don't take those steaks out and start cutting them on the plate. As soon as you do, all the blood and all the, all the moisture will, will spill out onto your plate. You definitely don't want to do that. You want to put them on a piece of wood like this. Oh, look at those steaks. These are magnificent. You want to put them on a piece of wood like that. And you want to tent them with a piece of tin foil. Okay? And you want to let them sit tented like this for at least seven minutes. So what will happen is the, 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 the fluid right now, the liquid is, is all in around the muscle of the meat and it'll get reabsorbed back in in seven minutes. So seven to 10 minutes, don't touch them as much as you want to. Don't touch them, just do them here. Quite often we'll do the onions after when we're tenting this, the steaks because this makes oh, all the world of difference. You wait, if, you, if you've never done this, you've got to try it, it's magnificent. All right, so uh, I've changed from the beer now to uh, the cranberry vodka, so this is always good. It's been 10 minutes. The moisture has been reabsorbed into the muscle of the meat uh, after 10 minutes. So let's check this puppy out, see what it looks like. So here we go. And take this bad boy here. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. You betcha, that's a nice medium rare right there very good so notice that there's not no blood spilling out onto the wood uh, it's all been reabsorbed into the muscle so the moisture is still in the steak that's really really important we love it this way uh, if you haven't tried it I mean give it a go because this is uh, it's fun camping experimenting with food and having some drinks and life is great listen this is one of my favorite ways to have a steak this is just absolutely amazing. So moist. Mm. So delicious. I don't think there's a better way to have this. So if you have a different way, or why don't you just share with us the way that you make your steaks? Mm. You gotta try it this way. So good.